Hi friends, this is Vicki from my little Colorado cottage. Um, today I'm going to give you a little home tour of my late summer decor. Um, lots of sunflowers and um, I thought I would point out a few of my new thrifted items I've also found uh, this summer months. Okay, so here we go. And this had this shelf and my little expandable coat rack up here for quite some time and I'm still not finding the right things to put on that rack but here I have a couple of thrifted items the little um, clay coffee mug I picked up for 50 cents um, this little the silver plate dish a footed dish you know, I think I picked it up for a dollar First, these little baskets, um, just a dollar at yard sales. I've been looking for these in order to hang them on uh, my shelves that have the wooden pegs. Now over to my makeshift hutch. Um, I just, you know, this is the shelf I usually keep all my green glass in. Um, it hasn't changed too much this summer. Um, I did want to show you this red pepper shaker and this little glass salt shaker. Okay, I got interrupted on the phone. So, um, but it's just kind of a unique, it's got this kind of decoration on it. I haven't really seen one quite like this uh, clear salt shaker. Um, also, I've got this plate that I picked up. I'm gonna, well, I've been keeping it out, but I'll probably use it for Christmas because it's the red and the green. Um, I just thought that was really cute. Let's see, over in another little cubby. Um, I just added these two milk glass, uh, like fruit bowls, I just picked up for $2 a piece, which I was just really excited about. Um, I'm just really not sure where I'm going to put them or if this might be the milk glass section of uh, my hutch. Um, I also picked up this platter. Let me reach it. Um, just a Laughlin uh, platter. But it's got the red you know, that could probably go into fall, so it'll probably be in my fall display. I haven't quite figured out what I will do with that. I'm here on another shelf. It's just um, my hen collection. And of course, um, if you've been to my blog, I picked these um, little saucers up. See if I can hold this and show you. At my local uh, budget center thrift store. Um, I don't know. I just thought the patterns were kind of fun. Um, and the sign on it was a dollar for the larger plates. Of course, these were the smaller ones I paid 50 cents for. And to use it for mosaic projects. Which I thought was kind of great because in the regular plate section they wanted like a dollar or two dollars for their vintage plates. So I thought I got a really good deal on this. Um, well, I'll try to move it over here. Um, my shelf, a thrifted shelf with some pewter um, pieces, um, but I wanted to show you just last week I found this hen on a nest. I was real excited. I think I paid three dollars for it. It's still got a little bit of the red on its comb there. 
And then down here is another little basket I just picked up. I think I'll probably stain it a little bit, but make it a little bit darker because that's kind of my thing. And then this little cute, um, I bought it at a, at a um, craft show. Um, it's like a tin can somebody had painted. And of course, I love sunflowers, so it works great in my decor. Okay, and on top of my hutch here, um, I got this little basket. I was kind of looking for, you know, I'm looking for an egg basket, but um, I found this for 50 cents at a yard sales. Got the red handles. I think it was for probably a deep fryer or um, to boil the canning or something, but it works just perfect with my faux apples there. Um, just, you know, bottles that I just continue to collect. I've had several of these for quite some time. Um, a DIY a wore out blue jean banner with some fabric. Um, the little sun or the Dollar Tree project I did last year. My collection of blue ball canning jars. This little uh, cross stitch, I think. An apple I picked up at a yard sale this summer and a collection of my fishing boxes back there. Another great find. I don't know if you can really see it. I was so excited. Um, I went to our kind of vintage thrift store here and found two of these oval frames. I think they were a dollar a piece, which is very unusual for this store. Um, usually I can find a few things, but the last couple times I've been there, um, like the first of September, you know, they've kind of doubled their prices, so um, I don't go check very often. And um, an old vintage scale that my mom gifted to me. And there's another little basket I picked up this summer. And some of my other collections. Give you another little pass. Another little vignette here by my front door is this picture of a hen and the babies my daughter gifted me, um, I think last year or the year before. I just love it and I try to put it up all, you know, through the summer. Um, here, I think the two white uh, salt and pepper shakers was a thrift this year. You know, I don't, I'm pretty cheap. I don't spend a whole lot of money, so they must have been maybe a dollar or two a piece. This is another interesting piece. I mean, I remember it as a kid. My mom kind of had a, uh, like a water pitcher, or maybe they were glasses, but with a little yellow and kind of gold tone. So, and then this little shelf here, I think I've mentioned before, so, oh, several years, maybe 10 years, my mom did this painting on this shelf. Um, I had a little used furniture store for a while, and we were trying to, you know, gussy things up a little bit. And this is from way back then. Okay, let's go check out. Uh, my family. Okay, now we're down here in my family room on the fireplace mantel. And, you know, I've just kind of gathered um, round bottles, of course, the faux sunflowers. I didn't really change this up much um, from my 4th of July or July uh, video. 
Um, I kind of kept the Crocs. I've added, you know, my hens that I've been collecting. Um, I'm always on the lookout for pewter or, um, of course, these glass knobs and copper. This was just a real cheap, I think, two fifty or something uh, brush copper base. Some poppy pods from my yard. Of course, the star was in my July video. Um, just some extra pieces of lattice I had in the around. Of course, I keep collecting uh, door handle or door knobs there whenever I see them for a reasonable price. I've been now collecting feathers, so these came out of my yard. Okay. Like I said, I'll be changing this out probably this weekend to more fall tones. Here I've got, you know, this is still in my family room. You know, have some bookshelves here and just display some of my things. Um, here is a new thrifted hen or a rooster. Down here on the next shelf is vintage bottles and a tray. I hit one yard sale um, last month, uh, the month of August, and um, I probably came home with, I don't know, 13 bottles at 50 cents a piece. I was just super excited about that. Look at that little green one. And then this one with the, let's see if I can get it out. And then if you can see it, but it's got a little dabber thing in there with a wooden lid, which I thought was cool. And there's a handkerchief that I thought, thought looked perfect in this little vignette. And then here was another addition, a uh, little white hen and a vintage lunch pail with some of my collection of heart rocks. I'm always looking for heart rocks. They make me happy. Okay, and then down here, I mentioned this crock with these lids. I have a a copper teapot up in my kitchen that I'm looking for a lid and so right now I've got four lids and that really none of them fit yet. Um, I did have a subscriber to my blog tell me uh, the way to measure that is just to kind of do a trace on paper and then you can fold it up and take it with you when you're shopping. You don't have to worry about measurements. There's some more of my heart rocks there. And then just, you know, I've always collected um, tobacco or you know, cigarette advertisement. There on that shelf. All right, here's another shelf. Just have kind of a imagery of things. More roosters, hints. Okay, I don't, I hope the light's okay. But here's another, this little pair of 
Hen and Rooster was another find this summer. My little oil can. Up here is just uh, this sunflower was a is a mirror, but um, I took it apart. Just put some black and white check fabric behind it to make it look like a um, a sunflower. A little tin, some green glass, some more of those poppy pods, seed pods. Okay, and lastly, here's my red, red crackled shelves. Um, I was also real excited to see the green flower. It's the first ones I've ever thrifted, which just made me very happy. This little round one was a flower frog that was passed down from my grandmother. So I've had it for many years. I just used some, I think they were Dollar Tree stencils, sticky stencils, and I just put them on a card there to display. And then up here, um, the one thing new here is that tin bucket I picked up for a dollar. At a yard sale this summer. And let me get over here. Show you what's on my Pepsi crate. Oh. I cut new a couple of new finds this year is um, this Liberty Bell. I have one from my grandparents. But then I found this other one, which is kind of cool. Um, this little um, club candy dish, I guess. I'll be using it more maybe in March. And then this little, another uh, toothpick holder. I picked her up for 75 cents. And that's the corner. I want to thank you for stopping by and seeing how uh, my summer decor turned out. Um, I will probably be putting out another video this next month uh, for uh, my autumn decor. Hopefully I'll be able to work on that this weekend. Um, I want to thank you again for stopping by and if you like give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Um, you just never know uh, what I find and how I put it into my decor. Um, also if you want to see my daily things I do. I um, do have a blog. It's uh, My Little Col Colorado Cottage. I'm sorry, My Little Colorado Cottage dot blogspot dot com and I try to post on that every every couple of days so you can see some of my thrift hauls and where I've put them into my decor. Alright, thank you and have a great day.